a blessed Friday to us. In as much as Jesus questioned to his disciples, not only of who do people say that I am, but of who you say that I am, each of our answers somehow majority may be the same, precisely because that is what we have been taught in catechesis. But there are always significant differences precisely because the answer that we can provide to who do you say that I am depends on our personal experiences, who Jesus is and who God is in our lives. You know, today's first reading has a very interesting coincidence in such a way because we can put this question of Jesus to, this, to his disciples and to us and our answers in the perspective of a time for everything. If there is a time for birth and a time for death, a time to plant and a time to uproot the plant, a time to gather stones and to throw them away, a time of war and of peace, how is our answer to our personal experience of who Jesus, of who God is in our lives like? Is it only because it is a time of birth? Or it is only because it is a time for planting? Or is it because it is a time of joy? Or is it because it's a time of peace? How about when it is a time of war? How about when it is a time of uprooting the plant? How it is if there are so many problems? Actually, we vary. Our answers vary. But you know what is so interesting about our human experience? What Christ or who Christ is or God is in our lives can best be explained in the negatives if there is trouble, if there, is, if there are problems, if there is a need for so many things, we call on God. But if it is a, a, the time for peace, a time of goodness, palimota. I hope we are not in that particular context. And this is something that constantly actually triggers us. Na ang ginoo sa atong kinabuhi, functional lang ba? Or is it when we only need Him? And if we are not in need, then let's acknowledge him. But asaman siya sa itong ginabuhi. And so this is a very beautiful time and moment for making a recollection ourselves. And within the context of the, the memorial or feast of St. Padre Pio de Pietrelcina, with all the many experiences that we have heard, we have learned, precisely because this holy person before he was even proclaimed a saint, was already holy. And he had many, many experiences and many what we call a, a context in his life witnessed by so many people that made the impression of who God is really. Not only in times of peace, not only in times of war, not only in times of problems, not only in times of good things. But he's a God that is really concerned in everything that we do, in whoever and whatever we are in the world. And so we thank God for that because he is a very good example of making us realize that God is at work and there is no on and off in him. He is always and forever be our God and Jesus Christ, his anointed Savior that he gave us to treasure to value, to embrace, and to love. Amen.